Y'all ever been walking along, maybe in a suitably doomy environment, some sort of abandoned sausage factory or the like, and thought, hey, if a doom monster was here, like really here, how big would they actually be? The view height in game can be somewhat misleading, giving the impression that the beasts, and indeed the player, are not that tall. But let's grab that measuring tape out of your bedside table and consider how big are doom monsters really. First, we need to set up a metric to measure everything else by. In this case, how many Doom guys tall are these monsters? For this, I need to make some base assumptions. Doom guy is a beefy marine dude, so I'm going to assume he's approximately six foot tall, or about 182 centimeters. <laughs> I could be way off base, and he could be four foot tall, and everything else is likewise tiny as hell. That would be funny. Anyway. So if he's about six foot tall and his pixels are largely 56 tall, that gives me something to work from, wrong as it may be. Now let's get out our calculators and do some quick maths. Let the parade begin. Zombie man and shotgunner, our average marines, albeit possessed with demonic spirits, are generally 55 pixels tall, making them about 178 centimeters or five foot 10. Hey, that's my height. Cool. That makes sense and falls in line with some fairly average adult male heights. Nice. Chain Gunner brings a bit more height, being 59 pixels tall, or 6 foot 3, or 191 centimeters. Makes sense. He's got a few inches on Doom Guy, as he's the evil commando, the real chonk of the UAC forces. Other average dudes. Imps, SS, Pinkies, and Spectres are also 56 pixels tall, like Doom Guy, or around 6 foot. It makes sense that they're a little bit bigger than general zombies. Imps are demonic troops, and SS are the devilish cream of the Nazi crop. Pinkies, etc., however, are bent over due to the splay of their inverted legs. If they stood erect, I reckon they'd be twice as tall again. Imagine one gnashing at you from below, its four legs reaching to an upper ledge just when you thought you were safe. Oof. Big beefy boys, barons and hell knights are suitably towering at 73 pixels, or 237 centimeters, 7 foot 9. The Doom 95 manual says they're tough as a dump truck and nearly as big. Well, apparently the average dump truck is 11 feet high, so get out of here with that fake news. Jesus. Revenant. Rev. Uh, where's he going? He's. Why do they always do this? Get back here! Revs. Been looking forward to this one. They look so imposing when they're not losing their head to a low ceiling, and imposing they are. Standing at a huge 87 pixels when they stretch, making them 282 centimeters or nine foot three. That's the average height of an elephant. Now imagine a huge horde of them screaming, chasing after you, arms swinging around loosely, sending a rain of hellfire down on your head. Yikes. Lost souls. You probably think they're small, but that illusion is shattered when you see one next to a zombie. They're huge! At 47 pixels or 152 centimeters, this five foot skull is insane. If they were just a normal flaming skull, that is to say, equal to the size of a zombie head, they would be 12 pixels high, plus about a third more to account for their flames, so 16 pixels high, or 52 centimeters. That's still half a meter tall, but a little, a little bit more appropriate. Tomato time. Cacodemons. Standing, or floating rather, at a height of 66 pixels, they are a domineering 214 centimeters, or seven foot tall. That really puts a new terror to the idea of an approaching caco cloud. Ugh. Everyone's favorite little dude, Pain Elemental. You'd think he'd be exactly the same size as a caco, wouldn't you? Being another big squishy ball, but no. They're actually smaller, despite their big ol' horns at 57 pixels, or 6 foot 1. 185 centimeters. Considering the size of their flaming spawn, they're a bit like the TARDIS. They must be bigger on the inside. Time to set off your arachnophobia with the nasty baby spider. Arachnos don't sound too bad, 
in that they're the same height as Doomguy, about 6 foot tall. But given that their leg span is about 100 pixels, they have a leggy lunge of over 3 meters, 10 foot 8. Now imagine if they could leap or stick to the ceiling like in Doom Eternal. Burn it with fire. <clears throat> or the BFG. Look out, wide load coming through. The mank is as wide as he is tall, which is both appropriate and hilarious. They're 7 foot 5 upwards and sideways, or 227 centimeters, which must make their arm cannons bloody huge. No wonder they can spew so many fireballs. Now you know how big they are, imagine how badly they smell especially their posterior. Okay, make some room, hot stuff coming through. Old Slenderman here was rendered quite realistically in Doom Eternal, where he looks huge, because he is. He's 8 foot 1, or 247 centimeters, and he's more than capable of towering over poor Doom Guy, so it really is a big boy achievement to knock one of these guys out with a berserk. It's not hard to imagine one of these guys poking their head through a doorway, leaning in under it to fold himself into a room. Creepy. Poor little Billy Blaze is of course a boy, and therefore a small bean. If you discount his noose, he's about 110 centimeters or 3 foot 7. Look how I murdered my boy. Move out of the way, it's cyber time. This dude is off the scale at 110 pixels, and our biggest guy so far. Created to cast fear into the hearts of all who encounter this beefy bro, he stands at a towering 357 centimeters, or 11 foot 9. That's a little bit smaller than a Mac granite cement truck. Jesus. And now it's time to face the spider. The big-brained doofus who masterminded the takeover of the Mars moon bases is flippin' massive. It is approximately the same height as the Cyber, 11 foot 9, so a huge truck, but don't forget its leg span. It's 6 meters wide, or 20 foot and 9 inches. This leg span is as wide as the world's largest H1 Hummer, which is ludicrous in and of itself. So now imagine this beast approaching, the hexagonal metal tiles rippling under your feet as its monster super chain gun turns you into Doomguy Pate. Not so wimpy now, huh? To win the game, you must measure me, icon of sin. Some detractors would say that at id Software's peak, Romero had a bit of a big head. His icon doppelganger seriously takes the cake at 9 foot 3 or 282 centimeters. That is including his stake, though. However, the actual icon, the wall texture, is 384 pixels or 1,248 centimeters, 40 foot 11 inches. That's like a school bus flipped on its side, and that's just the head. I shudder to think how big the rest of him is, but considering when he died, his limbs destroyed untold miles of hell's surface, He's a chunky sucker, that's for sure. Now, before we wrap up this identity parade, I would like to consider the size of certain textures which require Doomguy's interaction in the game. Let's look at doors. Doomguy oomphs his way through a variety of doors in Doom, and I've always wondered what their dimensions would be in real life. Like if you did up a house and made all the doors Big Door 2. <laughs> what could possibly go wrong? Let's look at common measurements. Big doors are commonly 128 pixels tall, and entry slash exit doors in Doom are traditionally 72 pixels high, though that does not always correlate to how they're represented in-game, as sometimes the top or bottom will be chopped off to suit a certain ceiling height. So 128 pixels is 416 centimeters, or 13 foot 8 inches. Considering these are dread hell gates or shiny UAC industrial doors, it's no wonder they're so damn huge. This is a similar size to a two-car garage flipped on its side, or two big fridges stacked on top of each other, or one big old elephant on its end. Small doors are 72 pixels or 234 centimeters or 7 foot 8. 
just a bit shorter than a baron of hell. No wonder they can get lodged in corridors so easily, the poor fools. 72 is quite often the traditional sector height given to small doors to fully show off the texture without cutoff. Other environmental detailing such as certain crates and teleporter pads are 64 pixels, or 208 centimeters, 6 foot 10. So though a tele spot may look pretty small in game, it's really not. Speaking of other environmental aspects, if you're a mapper especially, you'll be familiar with dealing with measurements in increments of 8 units as you scroll the mouse wheel to raise or lower sectors. How much is 8 units? It's 26 centimeters or 10 inches, so even as a very shallow step, 8 units still requires a bit of leg lifting and the tallest step Doomguy can climb is 24 units or 78 centimeters, 2 foot 8. That's absurd. That's nearly a metre off the ground and he can slide up and down them no problem. But he does do this doom thing all day every day, so I guess he's used to it. And that's about it. I hope you've enjoyed this bit of doom navel gazing using a not very good metric to try and strain some realism from a not very realistic game. I think about this stuff all the time. I'm getting my hair cut in a place with large tiles maybe, and I'm like, mm, would they be 16 units across? <sighs> I think I need to go outside and get some fresh air. There's nothing demonic out there.